so now we should get our footsteps on wood and we do and on concrete as well so that's working pretty good hey there i'm your host lesawi and in today's video we will be creating footstep sounds so these will play on a surface of our choice so for example right now i'm walking on the default terrain which of course you could play a footstep sound here as well if you wish to but if we go on wood we then get the wood sound and if we go on concrete get the concrete sound so this tutorial will be pretty simple and with that said let's begin for this tutorial we are going to need some sound effects so in the content drawer i have created a folder called footstep sound effects and if we open this up we can see i have imported footsteps one to four for concrete and then one to four for wood now i'll leave a link down below to a website where you can create your own footstep sound effects and import them in here and once you have done this we want to click on the first one, shift click on the last one, right click and do create single queue. So this will essentially just play a random sound effect from here in this little queue. And let's do this for every other surface type we want. So for concrete, the same thing, click, shift click and create single queue. Now, once we have done this, we can safely exit and go to settings on the top right hand side, go to project settings. And in here, we can search for a physical surface. Now you could change the default type if you wish, but I'll just be continuing from what we have here. So in surface type one, we'll call it wood. And you want to do this for every surface type that you want in your game. So since I have two, that's all we'll be doing and concrete. So once you're happy, we can exit. And next we want to go to our content drawer and let's create a folder for our physical materials and let's open this up now in here you want to right click go to physics and we'll create a physical material physical material select that and we'll call it pm again for physical material underscore wood and let's open this up and in here we want to go to the physical properties and in surface type we want to select the one that we have made so we have default wood and concrete so we'll select wood we'll save that next we can simply duplicate this and create concrete and let's open it up and change wood to concrete and again you want to do this for all the surface types that you want next we want to go ahead and add some of these materials into our world so first of all, let me delete all of this. Okay, and now we have a clean slate to work from. So what I'll do is I'll go to here, we'll go to shapes and we'll add a plane. Now to bring it all the way down, simply hit end and it should do that for you. And we'll just align it with the square like so. You don't have to, of course. And then for the scale, I'll do something like eight. So we have plenty of space to walk on. And we'll put one in here like this. And we can then select a material. So I'll just search for wood. And any wood will do. So once you have selected your wood, let's maybe change to this one. Yeah, I like this a lot more. So once you have selected the material, you want to click on the folder icon here, go to that material and open it up. Now inside the material on the left hand side in the details panel you want to scroll down until you find something called a physical material and there we are so in here you want to select that physical material that you made so pm underscore wood like so and this links that to this so we'll apply and hit save so then we'll uh, duplicate our plane like so and we will change this from wood to concrete and is it yeah it's this one okay so the same thing applies hit on the folder icon go to our concrete scroll down until we see the physical material and we'll change this to our pm underscore concrete and just like so and let's hit apply and save and we can exit next we want to go to one of our animations and we want to tell the game when we should play those sound effects so if we open up our content drawer and go to let's say characters mannequins animations and we'll go to money or can we go to quinn perhaps yeah we can and in for example running forward since that's what i'm using so you want to do this maybe for your jumping walking running 
all of these type of things. Same if you're attacking and he's moving, you want to add those in there. So we'll open this up. Now in here, since this is the default third person character, we already have it set up so we know when we touch the floor. But if you're using your own character, you might not. So simply play it in slow-mo and you'll see when the foot touches the floor. So this process will just be easier for us. So in here on the left hand side, we'll click on the notify track and we'll insert a new track. In here then, we want to go to where the foot touches the floor. So right there maybe. We want to right click, we'll add a notify and we want to add new notify. And in here we can call it something like contact and we'll bring this closer to what we want it to be. So do this for every single time your foot touches the floor. And quickly, I should mention that is if you right click and go to add notify, you can find the one you just made in here. So we have contact, click on it, it will show up very quickly. So do this for every single time we touch the floor. Okay, so once you have done this, this is pretty much it done. So we're touching, 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 and touching. Awesome. So let's save this then and exit. And to finish this off, we want to go to our content drawer and we want to go to the animation blueprint of our character. So we'll go a folder back and we'll go to ABP Manny since Quinn inherits from Manny and we'll open this up. Now in here, we want to right click and search for our anim notify, notify, and we called it contact. So if you search for it, it will show up. Now in here, then we want to do a line trace by channel. And this will simply tell uh, the player, okay, well, check below you what's there. And if this happens to be wood, then we'll play the wood sound. And if it happens to be concrete, well, then we'll play the concrete sound. So we'll do a try get pawn owner and then we'll do get actor, if I can spell this, actor location and we'll use this as the starting location. Now for the end, what we'll do is we'll drag out and we'll do a subtract and we want to do this on the Z. Now you can be a little bit generous, let's say you're running upstairs and stuff, so I'll do like minus 200 and we'll put this into the end and everything else we can leave the same. Now at the very end, we'll uh, grab a branch. So B left mouse, like so. Let me just compile this. Some text is showing up. This should be better. Okay, now out hit, we'll do a surface type, like so. And then we want to also break the hit result because we're interested in the location here. So from here on the surface type, we'll do a switch and this will give us all of the surface types that we have. So on default, we won't do anything, but on wood and concrete, we will. So then we want to do a play sound at location. And for the sound, we'll do remote to variable and we can call it foot steps sound effects. And we can put this in there. Now for the location, this will go in there. We can then minimize this and we can also reroute this a little bit. So for wood and concrete, we want to grab our sound effects and do a set. So we'll set this for wood and we'll set this for concrete. And then we can set which material we want to play. So of course, for wood, we want to grab our wood cue, which will give us a random footstep. And then we'll grab our concrete cue, just like so. And with this, we should be all done. So let's see if this is working. Compile and save that. And if we go to play, right now we get nothing. And if we go on wood, boom, we get our wood sound effects. And we, of course, get our concrete sound effect. So that's working nice. This will be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.